Okay, this is a question from section 5.2, number 23. Assume that when human resource managers are randomly selected 48%, say job applicants should follow up within two weeks. If eight human resource managers are randomly selected, find the probability that at least six of them say job applicants should follow up within two weeks. Okay, so 48% um, say job applicants should follow within two weeks uh, so if eight human resource manager are randomly selected we, do, we, we would like to find out the probability that at least six of that at least six means six or seven or eight all three cases at least six of them say job applicants should follow within two weeks if you be an example here it will give you the formula this is the formula you can use to calculate the chance of getting x many like uh, x equals 6 uh, what is the chances of getting six, 6 of them said uh, yes we need to follow within two weeks if you replace this x by 6 and n by 8 this calculates only for the 6 but we are looking for at least 6 so you have to calculate for 6 7 and 8 and you have to add all three this probability by using this formula manually if you want to use technology there is a you know uh, in ti 83 84 calculator there is a formula here second variance go to uh, binomial uh, this one binomial cdf formula i'm going to talk about this formula by using this formula bino mcdf which is second variance and this will take three inputs n p and c n means total number p means probability c means how many you want and this gives you probability for least or equal to c remember this formula gives you probability for less or equal to c in this case we're not looking for less or equal to six we're looking for at least six so it means we're looking for six and greater or equal to six so if we try to use this formula if we try to use calculator then this formula can be used but what happens is first of all you need to use this this formula and find out the probability for n comma p comma c minus one it means uh, that will give you probability of at least you know in our case it's uh, there are how many uh, we want to find six but that formula gives us probability for at least five okay but we don't want up to five we want greater than five we want six seven and eight so that's why I'm subtracting one from six because that formula helps me for finding the what is the chances of getting at least five of them say we need to follow that uh, thing within two weeks so you find this and you subtract this probability from one because altogether the probability is one so to find out the complement you just subtract this value from one that will give you the probability greater or equal to c remember we are looking for probability greater or equal to six and this one gives you if you just replace this by okay let me just uh, copy it here uh, copy it here and then paste it if i okay uh, if I replace this uh, 8 n by 8 p by in our case what is the probability probability is 48% uh, 0 0.40 0 0.48 comma c is 6 so 6 minus 1 is 5 so this one gives you the probability of at least five of them would say you know uh, this thing whatever we are trying to find out at least five of them but we want no uh, at most five of them but we want find the probability at least six of them so it's opposite of five of them you see this one says gives you probability for least or equal to c and we're looking for greater or equal to c that's why i subtracted one it gives me less or equal to five but i want greater or equal to five which is one minus uh, 1 minus this value I want probability greater or equal to 5 which is 1 minus this value complement so that's why 
I go here, I go to the second variance and choose binomial, you know, CDF, and then I just choose 8, comma, 0.48, comma, 5 instead of 6. That gives me probability of lesser equal 5, but I want greater equal, uh, you know, um, uh, 6. So I need to just subtract this thing from 1. So uh, 1 minus the answer, answer is here. I need to subtract that from 1. And that gives me 0.1198, which is uh, 0.9918. That is our answer, 0.1198. Okay.